to talk about pancake shapes. One of my favorite things to do in the morning when I have a bunch of people over is just kind of have people call out what you want, whether it's a dragon, a mermaid, a fire truck, or a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy pancake recipe that's a surefire and does not fail. So dry ingredients first. I have a tablespoon and a half of sugar here, three quarters of a cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, that may seem really easy, and it is, but you can also double, if, double it if you have more people. So the last thing is I want to put a, just a little bit of cinnamon. This is optional. You may not like cinnamon. I'm going to say like a quarter, an eighth teaspoon of, of cinnamon. And then what I'd like to do is grind up a little bit of nutmeg. Tap it, grate it, tap it, because it'll always have a little extra in there. And that is perfect right there. Nutmeg is quite powerful. You just want a little hint of that sort of nutty, aromatic, herbal, beautiful character, that toasted character that it has. So now that we have that done, one egg, no shells, all right? Whisk that until it's nice and mixed, a little bit frothy. If you can do the choo-choo train, that's even better. Now we have a I'm going to reserve a little of this milk. It might be a half or three quarters of a cup of milk. I don't know why, but it seems like every day I make it, the flour absorbs differently. Now I'm going to mix the, the dry ingredients, which, which is again three quarters of a cup of flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon and a half of baking, uh, sorry, a tablespoon and a half of sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon and some salt. Now we're going to whisk this up, and you can immediately see that it's kind of tight. That's okay. The tighter it is, the easier it is to make your craft, to make your little artistic designs. The only thing that I'm going to add here is about a tablespoon of melted butter. This is, of course, optional, but I think that anytime you put a little butter in, it's mo' better. Mo' better with butter. All right, that will loosen it up just a tad. Now you saw how fast that was. We are ready to go. Let's just set all of this aside and we will begin the process of making pancakes. Just a simple spoon like this, a tablespoon that you use for a soup, a soup spoon. Now it can't be too hot or too cold. I don't know your griddle, but you know, I'm saying somewhere between around 300 degrees is probably hot, maybe 275. And I'm going to start my design. So it's two diamonds, one, and then two. You have to start again, start in the middle, get it started, and then dack down again. There we go. That's the basic shape. I'm going to put the hat on the mermaid. We'll do her hair later. Do a couple of arms. Now let's fill it in. Now all you do is fill in the shapes. It's super easy. Oh man, here it comes. Mermaid Central. This is very popular, especially with the young ladies, four years old and younger. All right, now what I do is a, with the hair, I just do a big swoop like this, kind of make the hair big. All right, just doing big swoops. Swoop de doop. And try to connect it. Now that I've made the basic hair shape, I want to fill in the neck so it doesn't break off when you're ready to flip it. Now you just let that bake a little bit. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit because I can see it needs a little juice here. But when it starts to bubble, that's when it's done, okay? Do you see that bubbling right there? That's when you know it's done. Okay, the hair is connected. It's big 80s hair today. Good stuff. Now I always use two, paint, two spatulas. This is a Teflon top here. So I'm going to flip it over like this. But as you can see, the tail is cooking a lot faster than the head. Need a little bit more. I'm going to juice it up because I want a little tan on there. All right, getting ready to flip sometime soon.
Now it only just takes a couple minutes on the other side, so you don't really need to do a lot. All right, here we go. All done. Ready to eat. Make sure you get that head. You don't want to chop the head off when you're putting it back on the plate. Of course, a little bit of butter on there. Melt that on. And we're set to go with maple syrup. Ah, perfect. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and do a fire truck. Make sure our griddle is clean, nice and hot. This is tricky now. Watch this one. Difficult. You have to start with a shape. First, I always do the tires, okay? Front tire and two back tires. Then you know where you're working with, okay? So we got the tires done. Now let's start at the front. Now, the fire trucks are very boxy, but they go down like this because I'll show you why what happens here. All right. Okay, the thing we need most here is this little line up here. And what's that going to be? Ready? The ladder. Every good fire truck's got to have a ladder. There we go. I'm going to draw in the uh, windshield and the door. Of course, we always need lights, right? Let's cook a light up in there. And then the front bumper, it always has the, the big loud siren on it. So that's going to be right up here. Big loud siren. Now let's start filling it in. Usually I'm concentrating really hard when I'm doing this, so it's hard for me to talk. Plus I have people screaming in my ear. I want a dragon. No, I want a race car. No, I want a dumper truck. Now you can keep the ladder like that, which makes it a little trickier to flip, or you can fill it in. But I'm going to keep it like that because I'm going to I'm going to challenge myself today. Ah, here we go. Fire truck number one. It's a little rough, but that's okay. <laughs> I can feel it. All right, let's get it up now, and then whoop. There we go. I didn't break it. Oh my God. I'll just tuck all those in. Perfect. Red the fire truck. There we are. Oops. Come on. Fire truck. Engine number one. The last thing is the real quick and easy is when you're real busy in, in the morning or you have a hundred people coming over. Mickey Mouses and Minnie Mouses. So I'll do one of each. One little dot. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger because we have plenty of batter. Just do a regular dollar sized pancake. And just let that set for a minute. Now, Minnie Mouse, I'm going to do first. You always want to start down here to get things working because I'm going to do a bow. There. Let that set for a minute. And Mickey Mouse, very easy. Big ears on Mickey Mouse. Now I'll do Minnie Mouse's ears, now that our bow's set. There we go. Easy as breathing. Let's make sure we got some fire under there to get these cooking. Okay, now they're bubbling. Now it's working. Perfect. By the way, this is where you put the blueberries when it's like this, cooking on this side. And then you can just ladle over Cover them up. That's what I do. So that doesn't make your uh, your burner stick. So put your blueberries in here, cover them up with a little batter, then flip them over. That way you won't have that all sticky, gummy, caramelized uh, flat top here. All right, here we go. Ah, perfect. There we go. Any mouse, Mickey Mouse. One, two, buck my shoe. Done. All right, well, that's pancakes for today. Remember, very super easy. Do not use that box stuff. Actually, make your own. It's so much easier. It's so much more fun. Get the kids, get the family involved, get your friends involved, and 
it tastes better, feels better. And you can either, if you like thin pancakes, like thin, like crepe-like pancakes, add more milk. If you like really fluffy pancakes, take the milk back down a little bit. They'll fluff right up. Simple as that. More milk, less milk. Fluffy, thin. Thank you very much for watching. Now let's eat.